FBRD has been home to Indigenous peoples for generations. There are 31 communities with reserve lands in the FBRD's jurisdiction and as many as 69 groups with interests in the area. This diverse landscape means that there are many different viewpoints that need to be considered when we make decisions. What we decide as a local government can affect everyone in different ways now and in the future. As part of our collective responsibility, I commit we continually examine the work we do to ensure that our projects, plans, initiatives, and discussions are guided by the principles of inclusion, collaboration, and reconciliation. With that in mind, I'd like to call it to order the October 10th, 2024 meeting of the Regional and Corporate Services Committee. First item, Ms. Kenneman. Looking for approval of the agenda, addenda, and late items. So moved, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. It's moved by Director Fascio, second by Director Adamo. Discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Opposed if any, item carries. First item. Item 4.1 is the draft Regional and Corporate Services Committee meeting minutes of September 12th, 2024. Thank you. That's moved by Director Siemens, second by Director Smith. Discussion? Being not all in favor. Opposed if any, item carries. This item. 5.1 is the FVRD board and committee meeting schedule for 2025. Thank you. Uh, Mover and second. Moved by Director Popo, seconded by Director Ross. Discussion? Seeing none, all in favor. Opposed if any, item carries. Next item. 6.1 is the travel and other expenses policy update. Thank you. Move in a second there. Moved by Director Johnson, second by Director Siemens. Discussion. Director Dickey. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Just uh, through staff, perhaps, uh, are there any uh, impacts that are specifically going to be felt by the electoral area directors as a result of this, these changes? Ms. Kinnaman. Thank you for the question. I'm just going to turn that over to our Deputy Financial Officer, Beth Klein. Ms. Klein. Um, through the Chair to Director Dickey, the tax impacts for these ones are always after the amount has been awarded. Um, so there's no impact to budget this year. Okay. This year, coming years? Correct. Right. Okay. Thank you. Director Dixon, go ahead. Oh, thank you, Mr. Chair, and I'm sorry I'm trying to pull this up, but I believe that one of the requirements was that we include a map and a, a possible new description of our car. Um, is, uh, is, do you want that every month or one description of our car for term? Or, I'm just kind of wondering what we're looking at. And the same with um, how tight are you on the maps? I, I've never included a map of mine, so I'm just curious about that. It's fine. Yep, so the um, make and model of the vehicle will be on the expense claim, but if it is the same every time, then we can carry that forward. Um, the maps, um, typically, our Amanda keeps those maps for um, the generic travel, and we attach those for those expenses. But if there's anything, say, going to a conference in a different area, then those should be included. Other questions? See any? We've got a mover and a second on this call. The question: All in favor? Opposed? If any, the item carries. Next item. Six point two is financial plan twenty twenty four to twenty twenty eight amendment for October. Thank you. Mover and a second. It's moved by Director Pranger. Seconded by Director Horn. Discussion. Hearing none. All in favor? Opposed? If any, item carries. Next item. 7.1.1 is the Fraser Valley Regional District Transit Services Update and 2025 FVX Critical Fix. Move the recommendation, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. It's moved by Director Fassi, second by Director Popo. Discussion. Uh, victim of our own success here a little bit. So it's nice to see some additional hours. Um, I know um, there were some discussion around how we're being squeezed on bus storage and we were bursting at the seams. I know there's a new facility in Abbotsford and a new one on the way in uh, Chilliwack. So hopefully we can address some of those concerns and um, ensure that uh, the people that are relying on this service continue to get the service that they uh, expect. Um, I know we had some discussion with uh, BC Transit uh, a number of months ago uh, at the UBCM about when we would uh, hit that 
uh, critical mass when they look at larger buses, maybe even some of the double decker buses they run in the 555, but we're not uh, we're not quite there yet. But all in all, I think it's a good news story. More hours uh, into a growing system uh, and more people using transit. So all the question, all in favor, Pose if any, the item carries, next item. 7.1.2 is north of Fraser Transit Service Feasibility Study. Director Horn. Yes, I'd like to move with this be referred back to staff um, and to be brought back at a future meeting. Thank you. Is there a seconder, Director Pablo? Uh, uh, I'll very quickly um, okay. speak to it and just simply say uh, the City of Mission and, and Kent have been in dialogue about this for some time. Highly supportive. The report looks particularly at the route that goes between Mission's uh, Central Station and Kent, and there are still considerations to have within the City of Mission between the border and uh, of the, the Maple Ridge, as well as with the central station. So uh, that's part of what we'll ask staff to work with BC Transit on, and I'll have City of Mission people loop in as well. Thank you. Thank you. Other comments or questions on the item? Don't think so. Call the question on referral. All in favor, post if any item is referred. Next item. Moving to reports by directors. Thank you, uh, board directors, for your opportunity. Don't see any. Thank you for making my last uh, rats meeting that I chaired a uh, nine minuter. Uh, <laughs> uh, thanks, I know. Uh, item 11 is public question period for items relevant to the agenda, and we'll just turn things over to our deputy corporate officer, Lauren Olenek. Thank Solnick. you, Ms. Kinnaman. We do not have any members of the public joining us in person or online today, and we have not received any written correspondence. Thank you very much. Uh, next item. Looking for a resolution to close the meeting. So moved, Mr. Chairman. So by Director Facios and by Director Horn. All in favor, opposed if any item carries. Just give us two minutes to set up the room. Thank you.